Damn it, man, I did not want to have to make this video. But we're drinking coffee anyway, so let's go ahead and do it anyway. What's up guys, Mark back here with yet another video. This is not your typical morning jolt video, but I felt as though I absolutely had to make it for some reason. I just had to make it. So some of you may know Caleb Pike. He's got another YouTube channel doing, doing very well. You're doing well, Caleb. This is not a personal attack video. So no one think that, no one say that, no run and tell you little bitch, run and tell, hey, somebody said something about you, just over there diarrheaing at the mouth. This is not an attack video, I am telling the truth on that one. This is a word of, this is a cautionary tale. So as I said, some of you may know Caleb, he's got his own YouTube channel. He was recently flown out to Hawaii with a few other select YouTube influencers, camera review channels. So he gets back and lets us all know that he's been there and he's also got his very own six week loner from Canon of the EOS R. And in his video, he suggests that there's really nothing wrong with this camera. Everyone else is wrong, but he is right. Andrew Reed over at EOS HD had written an article about why you probably shouldn't buy the camera. And he responded to Caleb on Twitter. I'll throw it up here on the screen for you if you're interested. He says, we're not wrong about the EOS R. Are you really suggesting it's better than the Sony a7 III, GH5, X-T3, or the Nikon Z6 for video? You know what, and I tend to agree. You know, there are many high profile camera review channels that have actually done hands-on and have not given this camera the level of praise that Caleb has. Now, I don't know if this is Caleb's first time out. I don't know if this is his first outing being wined and dined by a camera company. You know, they send you to nice places, they put you in nice hotels, and then you're expected to say some nice things. Give you free booze, maybe you get a little intoxicated, and you might accidentally say something good about them. Well, I gotta be honest, Caleb, I, I think that you're in that camp. I don't think you drink, I mean, you don't seem like the type, but I do, and even all the alcohol, all the vodka martinis in the world couldn't make me say nice things about this camera, and I don't even have to hold the damn thing. Nope. What Canon and Nikon have done with their two launches, their two big heaping piles of shit launches, join the revolution. Reinventing mirrorless. Man, y'all ain't revolutionizing nothing. Y'all ain't reinventing nothing. Y'all are pulling the same old horse crap that you always did. You know, you're trying to roll out with your hype Trying to put out all this promotional material. Revolution. Reinventing mirrorless. Y'all did none of those things. And Caleb, you shouldn't fall for it. I know you probably still got like, you know, some some coconut seeds in your nose. You, palm trees blinding you up a little bit. There's too much palm trees in my face. Don't fall for it, brother. You're a nice guy. I think you're a nice guy. You and I have never met personally, but I, I had that sense about you. I've got a good sense of character. I think that you're a nice guy. Don't shill for this camera company. Don't do it. No matter how much they spent on you. That airfare was very expensive. Don't do it. Don't you do it. The only people that are going to buy this camera, the only people that are interested in this camera are Canon shooters. People that have not managed to escape the Canon bubble yet. And I say yet because more and more people are waking up every single day. Every day. There's more of you. They're like, oh my god, I can have all of these things? and not have to pay all of that Canon horseshit extra? I mean, let's be honest. Who's paying $3,000 for a three pound lens? Canon, what the hell are you thinking? You're charging your own users $400 for adapters. You should have at least included the cheapie in the box for your already dedicated, loyal, and sycophant users. The EF to ES or, or EOS R adapter should have been in the box. It should have just been there. It should have been just like, yeah, sure, we'll give it to you. Y'all been super duper, you know, blindly loyal to us all this time. That's the least we can do is toss in a, you know, $15 adapter. I mean, that's what it costs them, you know it. But yeah, I agree. I agree with Andrew Reed. I agree with his assessment. If you all want to check out his article, I'm going to link that down in the description box below. Okay? No one's buying this camera unless you're in a Canon bubble. Unless you're balls deep in the Canon e uh, ecosystem, this is not the camera for you. There are many, many other options. This camera is overpriced. You're charging your customers $195 for a special USB-C adapter. What exactly in the F 
Who's buying that? What genius thought of that? What asshole decided that was the correct price to charge for it? I am so glad every single day that I left Nikon five or six years ago. That was the best decision I ever made because with these launches between Canon and Nikon, it only proved me right again that they continuously trickle out features and try and pawn it off to the rest of the people as if it is some amazing revolutionary thing. No, I'll tell you what's revolutionary. I'll tell you what's amazing is you've got smaller camera companies like Fujifilm, Sony, Panasonic, and Olympus. They're hungry. They don't have a hundred years worth of laurels to rest on and trickle out features to the masses and yeah, good enough. They'll buy it. They'll buy any of our bullshit. Just throw it out there. Just put it on the shelves. Someone's going to pick that stuff up. Now, see, they have to fight for every single customer that they get. They have to do their very best to not only match what those two camera companies have been putting out for years, but they've got to exceed and in a big way. And all you have to do is take a cursory look at what Canon and Nikon have put out to see that they're not even trying. They're pulling the same old Canon and Nikon tricks. All the while, Sony and Fujifilm, they're throwing the book at these cameras. Anyone that's gonna shoot video, I mean, if Panasonic could just line out their autofocus, oh my God, there, no video shooter on the planet would go, yeah, man, maybe I should get a C200. Y'all keep acting like we don't want smaller shit. Do we wanna carry around a C300? Do we want to carry a C500? Do we want to vlog with any of those cameras? Why produce on a big ass camera like that when we can do the exact same thing on a camera like this? Stop ramming it up our rectums. We're wise. But Caleb, brother, you're a nice guy. You got a nice channel. You got a good thing going. Don't start shilling for Canon. Don't do it. That's a forewarning. I know they spend a lot of money on you, and I know you feel slightly obligated to do the right thing. I hope uh, that you would respond, but you know, it's fine if you don't. I just happened to make my videos early in the morning, so I didn't have a chance to let him respond to the, my comment on Twitter, which I will read to you right now just so you all know. I said, I like Caleb, but it's much harder to be critical when he just got back from Hawaii and got a free loaner copy for six weeks. That camera is a straight up disaster. For him to make excuses, Proves my point. And I have. I've said in previous videos that, you know, that's how camera companies do. They wine you and dine you. They take good, really good care of you. And then they expect you to say nice things. And I, and I realize that a lot of, you know, YouTube channels, a lot of camera review channels, they want to continue that relationship. They want to foster that relationship. They want to maintain the perks. They're nice perks. But what's the point in having a, a YouTube influencer status if you can't influence everyone or anyone because they know you're shilling? Just saying. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you all today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and, uh, you know, let, let, let Caleb know that I talked about him and this is not a personal attack. Just let him know. And then I would like to allow him a chance to respond. Caleb's a nice guy. I don't see a single personal attack in this video. I just want to let him know this is a cautionary tale. Don't fall for all that pampering. It's not worth it, man. You got a nice channel. Keep it going. All right, guys. Thanks so much for stopping here at The Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. F you, man.